Hey guys, it's TL again, and back. welcome back to uh, my game making tips and tricks uh, series. So this time we're going to talk about um, naming stuff. So this is just going to go over naming pretty much everything in general when you're working on your game. So again, you can do this with any like Google Docs, Word Docs, note if you have a notebook around, um, if you have like a game made engine like Unity, uh, Unreal, RPG Maker, um, you can use Excel even, or um, Google Sheets, whatever you want to use just to get um, the information down. Um, and you can divide up the information however you uh, want to, whatever works best for you. You're going to use PowerPoint, like what, whatever, or Google Slides, whatever you want to use. Whatever works best for you. If you're using like a Google Drive, you can separate your Google Drive into different folders for different things. Um, but the main thing is just to get everything down. So um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to use RPG Maker um, to show you how I have it done. And again, remember I don't show my faces in these videos currently because I work night shift as a security guard and I'm currently in New York. Once I get started with my new job, which update, a slight update, uh, just waiting to pass my um, security clearance for that. Don't know if you can hear the beeping in the background, um, what that is currently, um, or what it was, depending on when you watch this video. The thermostat in the guard chat is broke, and so <laughs> the beeping is because it's broke. But anyways, so, and again, this is the game that I am currently working on. It is my game. I didn't make the title screen. I did not make the maps. I paid for both of those. Um, and all of, like, the plugin scripts that are used um, are from uh, Yamfly and um, the DLC content that you use to make the maps. Um, I got, as you know, DLC um, and paid for that stuff. And of course, same with like the music and stuff, and that will all be credited in my final version of the game. Right now, and when this video was originally released, there is a demo on the Steam Workshop um, for those that have RPG Maker um, MV. So, you know, if you want to play it, um, depending on how far back this video is out when you watch it, Game might already be out, but I'll probably put an announcement video when it's officially out. Woo! Um, I'm actually probably gonna put an announcement video out saying, "Hey, it's out," and link to the Steam and the Google Drive that it's out on. So yeah. Um, but uh, let me swap to RPG Maker. Oh, this is just one of the maps that I, because I paid for like all of these maps. So, um, make sure it's. Yeah. Okay, and you can see the text decently well. So let me just open the database. And if you uh, go watch a bunch of, they're kind of far back. Um, but if you look in my playlists, I do have tutorials for RPG Maker MVs. If you guys want to know how to uh, use this engine and such, so. I don't know if it's... Ah, okay, so... One second. Okay, so now you can s actually see. All right, so um, this is my database, or the database in the uh, game. You couldn't see that when it was just capturing the screen, because it wasn't catching it. So um, actors is the different characters in the game, like main characters, important people, important NPCs, that kind of stuff. You put, you would put them here. Um, if you're going to have a bunch of different people, like, so these are my main characters, these are, um, important 
uh, NPCs or um, these are like the elemental spirits in my game that you're gonna interact with, and these are the different village elders, which I'm actually going to give eventually give them names. But right now, as you see, I just have main village elder, elven village elder, dark human village elder, uh, dwarf, and pirate. I haven't given them names yet. I plan on giving them actual names, and then I would put, you know, uh, pirate village elder da 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 da, and I would put their whole profile. Right now, and I would actually give them, you know, pirate village elder class, you know, for context for me, not for the player, but context for me. Um, same with all of these. I currently haven't done that. Um, you know, this is one of the main characters, you know, this, initial level, max level, um, this same thing I would put, so she has a name, but I would put, you know, elemental spirit, and I would give her a general description, um, if I wanted to, classes, right now I only have the main classes, but eventually I would put, um, guardian elemental spirit, and put each of the, um, you could just put NPCs, or if you have important people, like the different, like I have the different, um, elders of each town, because I'm, they're going to be kind of important to the story, so I would put those, and this stuff doesn't matter, but I just like having them separated here, because that's important, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter for them, but it matters here. Um, so you can get all that stuff there. Skills, so this is different um, skills. So these are just basic skills. So this is my hunter class skills. And I left some extra space. So like you can do these as each, like a different Google Doc, a different Word Doc, a different Excel sheet. Um, and so forth. Uh, I, I'll bring up another way I have something else um, mage skills, and see these I will eventually rename, because right now these are just fire arrow 1, well fire 1, fire 2, thunder 1, um, really basic, it's the same for, um, uh, my healing skills, heal 1, heal 2, cure, revive, it, like, I just, basic, basic, basic stuff. Um, items, again, very basic, light, mid, full, I don't think that's what I'm going to call them in the end, but for right now, I couldn't come up with actual names, so just very generic stuff, generic thing of, this is what it does, this is around the price range, I think it's going to be, that price range may be too much, maybe too little, um, but if you're just trying to name stuff, just get their names down, get a basic idea of what they do. Weapons, um, most of mine are named right now, but even if you don't have them named, just do bow 1, bow 2, bow 3, bow 4, dagger 1, dagger 2, dagger 3, whatever. Just so you have their names down, and then, then leave a little space so you can be like, okay, I want it to do this, or I want it to do that, or I want it to increase damage by this much. Um, this is where I can really show it, is the, uh, armors, because I can scroll down, and so these are the mage hat, <laughs> this is the, um, magic armor, so I have old mage hats, and then I couldn't think of some names, so then I got to, like, number four, and I was like, oh, I don't have a name, but I know roughly the price is going to be about 70 gold, I know the defense is going to go up to eight, and the magic defense is going to go up to ten. And that's just what I knew. And then when I got down here, I knew I wanted to, to you know, protect, you know, like 20% from ice. And then defense 14, magic defense six, 16, around 150. But, like, I didn't know what I want these to be named, so I just went old, old mage hat 4, 5, 6. Same here for the light armor didn't know what I wanted to call, knew the general, like, how much they should increase, around how much they should cost. Same thing here with the medium armor. I 
didn't, they don't have names for stuff, but have general idea. Enemies, if you can just think of, okay, in this region, this is what I want. Um, you know, if you have your regions all figured out of where you're going to have stuff, then think of, okay, well, what enemies am I going to have in that region? What makes sense in that region? And just write them down. Even if you don't have pictures, just write them down. And then think of, okay, well, what's the boss going to be in that region? Don't worry about this stuff. Just leave room for this stuff. So that way you have it. Space for it. Just get their names down. And then you can go back and you can work on adding the stuff later. Just getting the names down is super, super important. Um, troops, this would be, you know, how many... So, like, this one I have one hornet, this one I have two hornets, this one I have three hornets, and then down here I have a hornet plus a man-eating plant, and then down here I have a hornet and a grass rat. And then, like, down here I have a grass snake and a hungry grass. So it's just having the different uh, enemies paired together. So that's just thinking of how you would have the different enemies paired together. Um, in the different region. States, so this would be, um, st it's called states in here, but this is the different statuses. So knocked out is obviously when they're, you know, when they're dead. Um, guard, you know, guarding, immortal, poison, you know, these are just different status effects, you know, that a person can receive. Um, animations, these were pre-done in the thing, so I didn't have to think about these. This would be uh, different animations that would go along with the different skills. So, you know, but don't worry about the animations too much right now. Same with the tile sets, don't worry about that. Don't worry about common events, um, systems. So you could write down, okay, I do I want just the main character in the starting party, or do I want the main character and someone else? Um, you know, don't worry about the music, don't worry about the sounds. Um, you could figure out what you want your menu, what you want in your menu anyways. You know, do you want your items, do you want your status, do you want the skills, do you want the equipment, do you want, is there going to be a formation? Do you want them to be able to save in the menu or only at save points? Um, of course, have a name for your game. That's um, even just a name for the for a project. Um, it's super important because then there's a name attached to it, and it really helps you think about it. Um, what's the currency going to be in your game? That's uh, super important as well. Um, what types of magic systems or skill systems are you going to have? them to or stamina systems are you gonna have for them to use is it just gonna be stamina or stamina and magic that's um, something to think about like here it's just magic and special so special is tied to TP but then, and then of course there's magic I'm actually gonna click this um, because that's another thing you can think of are our reserve party members going to uh, receive uh, XP um, where's you know, your player going to start. Um, this is also a super important thing to think about. Um, so, elements. What type of different elements are you going to have? Um, you know, physical, and then uh, fire, wind, water, earth. You know, go through that. Think. These are skill types. So, magic, special, or stamina skills. Um, and that kind of stuff. You you need to go through and think, you know, and is, is it just going to be, is all your magic just going to be wrapped into one? Or are you going to break down the magic into even more special types? Um, weapon types, are you, you know, how many different weapon types are you going to have? Are you going to just have daggers, swords, and bows? Are you going to have guns, etc.? You know, you're going for medieval fantasy, sci-fi fantasy, you know, what? What are you going for? Because um, these weapon types should match whatever 
genre you're going for. Same with your elements, same with your skill types. These, the stuff that's here should be matching whatever um, genre you're going for, whether it's medieval fantasy, sci-fi fantasy, modern fantasy. This stuff should match. Um, medium armor, magic armor, light armor, um, heavy armor, and shield, same thing. You can rename, you know, you can come up with your own names for this stuff, but it should kind of sort of match. I just left them the same because this matches, you know, the medieval fantasy that this particular game that I'm working on is going for. Um, equipment type, so this is, you know, how many different equipment slots do you want uh, the player to have? So I have weapon, I have shield, I have head, I have body, I have accessories. I can add uh, arms and legs and hands and feet and more accessory slots. It's however many you want. You just have to make sure you're not going to have too many. So this is this is what kind of comes in like in RPG Maker. This comes pretty standard. And this is pretty standard for most games. At minimum, I would say at least have weapon, shield, and like two accessories. Um, if you're going really, really light on the equipment types. But, you know, figure out how you want to do this. Terms, this is also kind of important. Don't worry about this. Um, but, you know, are you gonna, how are you going to address levels? Um, hit points. Uh, are you going to have magic points or mana points or MP? How is that going to be addressed? Same with stamina or TP or however you're going to address it. Um, experience, you know, how is that going to be? Um, parameters, so is it going to be called max HP, max MP, attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, agility, luck, um, hit rate, evasion. You know, how are how are your different things going to be defined? How are you, like, your parameters and stuff? Um, commandments, so, so commands. So when you get into a fight, um, the first ones that pop up are fight, escape, item, skill, uh, formation, option, you know, that kind of stuff. You've got attacked, guard, equipped, status, save, end game. You've got, you know, your weapon, your armor, your key item, your clips, your optimize, your clear, your buy, your sell, your new game, your continue, your title, your cancel. All of this stuff is super, super important. These different things here is, you know, you know, this, this is what it puts out. This, this is what it puts out. This is what, so this is what the player is reading on the screen. This like if I click this, this, if I type this, this is what it's typing. So this is what they're reading, this is what the type text is. So command render, volume, possess, possession, exp total, current, you know, um, exp next, save, save to which file, um, load message, load which file. So this is like, if I want them to say, if I want to say always dash, um, you, which file do you want, if I wanted to say which file do you want to load, then I would retype this. Um, you know, which file do you want to save to? You know. Um, blank has started to escape. However, blank was unable to escape. However, was unable to escape, you know. An excellent hit, you know. This stuff you can worry about later, but this stuff is kind of nice if you want to, you know, have more customization stuff. So, there's that, and then if you give me a second, sorry, that's my YouTube. I'm going to open this. So, I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to turn on that while I go fishing for a thing because I want to show you guys something else. I just have to find it. So 
so it's here we go so as soon as it loads it's okay all right so and this will also help you guys so i'm going to look All right, so this is um, something that I'm working on, and uh, here, let's just do it like that. So, and I'll let people say hi in just a second. So, um, this is actually, so Steampunk Apocalypse is a TTRPG that me and my boyfriend have been working on for a bit. Um, I started working on it, and he's been helping me out. So, this is the st uh, stats modifier. Or um, once you rolled your stats, um, this is the general modifier. This might be changed, but this is the general modifier. Um, so if you get a 12 to 15, your modifier is a 2. Um, so this is this is uh, a Google Sheets thing. And as you see, I have stats modifier, gunslinger level up, um, brawler. These are the different classes. Um, brawler level up. Guns, chemist, medic, hacker. So these are all the different classes, and then I have. So these are the different materials for weapons and armor. So these are because of the way this game is structured. You don't necessarily buy weapons and armor. You get materials, and then you make weapons or armor. Um, you can buy them, but it's more so you find stuff and make it. So um, like you can buy, you can do this. You can make stuff out of wood, uh, Damascus, tungsten, same here. Um, but then I have, okay, well, what time, type of armor is it? Is it light, medium, or heavy? Um, and, you know, this is common, uncommon, rare, and legendary, same here. Um, I kind of want to move all this over in one because it's really annoying to me. And then weapons, armor, and items. And food and drink, because we need to eat. And there's going to be lodging and so traveling. Um, so here we have Search the last one. So we have type of transportation, rarity, land or water, and the price. So it would, you know. A bike is rare, it's land, and how much it's going to run you. So it's just, you know, different things like that. As you see, some of the pages aren't done, um, but this is something like you can use an Excel sheet just to get stuff down. And I've made Excel sheets for stuff that we haven't done. Like, So the reason I have weapon materials that you can find, and then I have different sheets for weapons and armor, is because I'm going to put, um, I need to start putting down, okay, for here, I would put, you know, I would still take, so I would put, um, what type of weapon, so I, I would put, like, uh, common weapon, right, common weapons, and then I would put, so essentially I would do common, ooh, that's way too tiny, so I would bump up to 12, common, Weapons dash wood and and then I do would do like and I would make sure and then I would do like wooden sword and I would just go like so, obviously, I want this, like, I'm just going to click on this, and format, and I want size 12. And then I would also, I would go. And 
and I would just go like maybe this far down and go like here. And then I would take and I would go whatever the next one is and go copper and then I would go here. copper and then do the same thing do this do format format this as 12 and I would go And I would just continue. I would leave space. Actually, I would want to know. I would also want to move everything over. Because here. Essentially showing you how you guys can do this, and then you could do cost, and you could do cost, and I actually want to move, and then you could do And if I want to, I can just take these guys. You know, in case I want, you know, a little bit of space so it doesn't look so cluttered. And you can do the same thing for, like, weapons. Um, and that kind of stuff. So, and just, like I said, just start writing the stuff down. It doesn't have to be perfect. And as for, like, music, you don't have to write down, I want this exact song. You can put... I want a more battle themed music, or I want a more open field music, or I want this type of feel, or I want that type of feel. That way when you talk to a music person, you can tell them, okay, I want this type of feel, or that type of feel. 
and just put that down in like your database. Um, and you can just call it the database for your game list, but it's going to be called in the industry anyways. This is your database or your game design document or your game design bible or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's many ways to do it, you know. So this is, this is like, this is one way of having it. Or like this here. So this here is the actual what will be um, put out with um, the game. This will are up, like, no lie, this is probably, these charts are going in here. And I'll show you where they are. But this is Steampunk Apocalypse. I'll probably get pay for actual art. So stats, this is how I'm explaining them. This is the modifier. So this here was just copies. This is literally... Uh, I go up here. This is literally just this. I just copied and pasted it. Um, how to make a character. Leveling up. I don't know why it did that. Huh. Okay, no idea why it's doing that. Races. So, like, here, you know, you could put races and just list them off and list, you know, the different effects, which I'll show you. So, here it says, you know, how you roll your stats. And then here, which is what you would put on the sheet, um, you could put, you know, if, you know, they have different stats for your different races. You know, mine, it's 3d6 for the humans, and then plus 2 to all stats, what they can wear, and what they start with. Um, the ghouls, you know, their rolling stats is very different, and uh, they have different stats as well. Same with the Beast Lords. Same with the Dwarves. Oh yeah. Um, same with the Mutants. Um, I haven't decided what the plus two um and minus two. Sorry. Uh -huh, no. Yes. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what their their pluses um, are. Pluses, minuses are. So you know, there is that. Same with these guys. Um, and then gunslinger. Um, some of their stuff, and then this is their, um, their leveling and stuff. I haven't figured out, uh, their, uh, subclasses, and then it's preferred playing style, so eventually it'll just be a set of subclasses, it'll probably be, you know, to something else. I haven't figured out what I'm going to call it yet long range, short range, and I haven't figured out anything, but I have them named. Same thing with uh, the brawler. Um, so, same here. Chemist. Same here. Uh, medic. Same here. Uh, hacker. Same here. And then I have different skills, which you can also do in you know, a sheet, you know, this is what they do, well, this is what they, what skills you can get in these different places, and then this is an explanation of what they do. Some of them don't have explanations, I don't think. 
most of them between me and my boyfriend uh, have, we've gotten most of them down. Um, so, yeah, we just haven't quite finished it, but, um, and then there's the equipment, which we'll have to eventually put in, items, so these are different items, we haven't figured everything out, food and lodging, and vehicles, so yeah, um, but yeah, it's nowhere near done. But yeah, so that's um, just some general things. Like I said, just start like a Google Doc, start, you know, an ex you know, Google Sheets, an Excel, a uh, Word Doc, um, get a notebook out, although I don't like notebooks because you can lose them, etc. Um, having stuff on Google is just really convenient because there's not a chance I'm going to lose any of it. Um, but you can also, if you have a game, any type of game maker, Unreal, Unity, RPG Maker, there's a database right there. You can start using it um, and that kind of stuff. Um, just, you know, start getting everything down. Even if you don't have names or anything, if you know you're going to have 20 swords Put sword one, sword two, sword three, sword four, sword all the way up to sword twenty, and just leave room for stats. Um, you know, put put attack, you know, and then just leave it blank for each of those, and leave a space. That's completely uh, fine and acceptable. Same for you know if you're gonna have you know fifteen medium armors, that's fine. Just leave them like that. And if you're working on your monsters and you have no idea what their HP, defense, all that stuff, that's fine. Put the different s stats there, put HP, um, attack, defense, speed, or agility, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, magic attack, magic defense, um, MP, or TP, or stamina, or whatever they're going to have, you know, just put those there. You don't have to put anything there, or put like a hundred for their HP and then put ten for the minimum of everything else and then just leave it. Um, just leave it like that and then when you go to test the game you know if you have RPG Maker or Unity or Unreal just build it with that and then see if the character's attack is too much or too little? Do, does it take so many rounds to take out an enemy? Um, is it too easy to take out an enemy? Is it too hard to take out an enemy? Does it take too many rounds? You know, if you add a second enemy, you know, does that make a difference? You know, and that kind of stuff. You know, same for shops. You know, does a character get too much money early on and not have enough, you know, and spend all their money and still have a ton of money left over? You know, um, or do they not get enough money early on to buy the items, you know, buy new equipment and stuff? Is there not enough stuff to buy? And just, you know, play around with that kind of stuff. Um, but mainly, you know, just getting everything down. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly named. Um, but mainly, you know, put a name down for your game or your project and then just bring up a Google Doc and just start naming stuff down. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. It can be Town 1, Town 2, Town 3, Town 4, or like with my current project. The towns don't have names right now. They will. Um, but currently it's Main Town, Elven Town, Dwarf Town, Dark Human Town, Pirate Village. And those are not going to be the names at like the end, but currently that is their names. Just like all the elders, <laughs> those are their names too. It's not going to be their names at the end, but currently, that's their names. You know, you can do that. You can just write, that's their names right now. Um, and then, as you move forward in the project, you know, then work on getting their names figured out, you know. 
right, you know, work on just getting something out for people to test, for people to demo, to make sure, you know, is the game fun? Does it work? Does it function? That's what you're trying to get. You know, don't get hung up on naming protocols, on getting things perfectly named. Focus on does it work? Does it function? Um, is it fun to play? Is the story fun? Is it, d you know, does it make people want to play the game? Do they understand the game? That kind of stuff. Um, don't get hung up on naming conventions and that kind of stuff, all right? So that's all I have for now, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, please subscribe, and any support you give is greatly appreciated. All of the links are below to support the, are in the description below to support the channel. As always.